Hello, people from the other side. I'm ready with my witch's brew. Whoa! I hope you have your witch's brew ready so we can whip up some witch up nails. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, yes. Yes, that's right. We're bringing you the witchiness of it on oh, with my nails nice and ready nikki has them to bring you that witch of nails if i do say so myself i got so many onions rolling on in this head of mine ready to make that brew make it come to life the nails of it all yes that is right tiosa oh but we got to get the witchy vibes coming to life, if I do say so. Yes, that's right. Welcome to the witch of it all time right here as we get to it for sure. So let's start witching up this brew of nails right here and right now, because I do say so. Yep, yep, yep. And there's some pretty Ooh, things, if I do say so, that is for dang, 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 sure to the sure turtons. Oh, me, oh, my. You have to see this. And as we give those vibes, the fire of it all is here, ready, and in brewing form. Yes, that's right. Fire. With that, let's get to these awesome baby of it all. Mmm, orange. Mmm, cute, niceness, and awesome. Bringing that witchy vibes of the orange of it all. Mmm, what a nice, nice orange to it all. Ooh, as we bring in that pink, why not make it a girly witch? Why not make it girly, girly, girly witch? That's what they're doing here with some stamping and bringing in the bat, bat of it all. Might need to bring out one of my stamping plates. I definitely have some nice witchy vibes. Nice Halloween-y, great vibes. Like this is showing, mine might be different, but that is still fun if I do say so. And then these ones that are giving a lot of the fall autumn vibes with still pumpkins and a little bit of boo 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 doo doo Boo! But in a classy way. And then these, which I would say are not classy at all, but they're going boom in your face. Yeah, sparkly little bits of cobwebs. Ooh. Sparkly ones, if I do say so. Yeah. Ooh, they look so nice. Going off the vibes of being the one from Wednesday. Yep, the mother. That's what it's kind of giving me vibes of in there. Oh, and these. Hmm. A little bit of a punk vibe. Don't know if it's the tattoos on the person's hand or just like the way it just all goes together and giving a little bit of that. Here I am. <clears throat> but being rebel. Well, I guess that is that kind of time of year at times, you know? That or being sexy. Oh, bringing something I love with it. It's more like the yeehaw of autumn with some ghosts and animal print. Oh, it almost makes my little two favorite things. I do kind of like this time of year. It's kind of fun to think outside the box with the boo, to the ghosty, to the cobwebby of it all. And that is for sure showing it here. And whoa, I'm getting a little mesmerized. But then the little cat, meow meow, helps me get unmemorized or mesmerized. Ooh, now these ones are very, very, very classy, dark dark just like my little pumpkin mm -hmm. darkity dark 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 but still being in that little bit of autumn with the pumpkin but mostly black and some nice swirls and all mm -hmm. oh and then this one that just looks cute and funny because the <laughs> the little pumpkin is really hilarious in this my pumpkin's not gonna look anything like that if i do a pumpkin oh i have done some pumpkins last year by hand Ooh, this one's taking the pumpkins, the spiders, and the cobwebs all together in one nail, doing the nudeness underneath. Yep. And ooh, those look like a piece of art. Interesting. 
They're very glossy with a nice sparkly background. Yep, yep, yep. And then this one really giving the autumn vibes with the leaves, the orange, that kind of orangey sparkle. And yeah, that is awesome if I do say so myself. All those vibes are giving me time to make the witch's brew of some nails. Yes, that's right. Let's get that witch's brew to come to life right now. Thing to come about. Whoa, this is what I have brewed up. This is some nice green. Yep, nice, nice green. I'm going to use some of this. I might not go too, too crazy with the green, but I thought I'd bring a little bit of that greeny vibes with this awesome polish from Berry M Shimmer Nail Paint. So, first one to come out of my cauldron of creations. Mwahaha! Next but not least, this tapa. Yes, as some of those were really giving that shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. I may use this, though the green is very, very sparkly. This is a linear hollow topper from Hollow Doggo. So this might be the main, main sparkle if the undercolor of my mane and the nails is going to be a solid color and not sparkly. But if it's only slightly sparkly, I could put this on top as well to make it even more crazy. So there we go with the witch's brew becoming more and more to life. Well, well, another thing to make my brew even better. If you can guess, yes, that's right. It is going to be the bottom one as I giving me a little bit of the drippy drip dripper stain. I might do it in a not too, too spooky way, but there is that. And then I was looking at this plate as well. This one, I'll show you here. Look at this. See, some more dripping kind of, of paint and whatnot. And even one with some skulls on the whole thing. So I think I will go off with those vibes. Might be different than what I saw on those other ones, but I could do a hand with a hand painted. Let's see what it is. A. My brain is going blank if I do say so. It is cobwebs. That is right. Cobwebs here. Cobwebs everywhere. So we got these two colors and we got these two stands to go along with it somewhat. Definitely going to see if I can incorporate in some cobwebs of it all. Now we just need a base color to go with these two brewed up polishes. If I do say a polish and a topo. And here we go. Last but not least, the base color. Yes, I'm going to go off of the using of a nude here with other things. So this is going to be the base with some fun going on for sure. Oh, actually, because we are going to do some stamping somewhere here and there, and a little bit of what makes sense, this is another thing we're going to do. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. This is my stamping polish to go. So we get the boiling trouble all here, ready to get the manicure going on strong. We brew this all together, and let's go and get these nails come to life with my concoction of it all. The concoction of it all comes here to you. Enjoy. So here's a nice close-up of that really dark sparkly green that I'm going to use. Oh yes, I'm definitely going to use with that all hollow. And then a nice close-up of that nude color I'm going to use that's been concocted, bringing that music. And of course, the topper that is really bringing that hollow. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. And then here is the kind of grayish black that I'm going to use for stamping and the nail art on it as well. And then I may try to use some of this color to bring it in because it kind of gave some good vibes. We'll see how that goes. So here we go. First doing the green. It doesn't look so, so green. It's more kind of like 
that racer green with hollow in it, if you know. So now the rest of my, rest of my nails are going to be based with that tan. And I quite like this tan. It goes with my skin tone pretty well. And of course, as you saw, this is going to need about two to three sew coats. And this is the third coat of the green. And that's my accent nail. Now to put on the topper. And as I want to use this color, the green, to give it a little bit on the other nails, that's what I'm doing. So I'm taking the green hollow topper color to put on the tip of the nail next to it. So I'm doing that kind of French lined tip on top. I did say these nails are going to be pretty crazy with the sparkle. So that is what I'm doing. I'm just filling it in because I'm not going to be using this color too much. So I thought I would try to get and use with my nail brush here to fill it in as much as possible so I don't waste the polish if I don't need to. And it's not doing too badly. It's not as easy as if I was using the brush outside of the polish bottle, but it did pretty well. Now, as you can see, I'm using that hollow toggle color to do the drips. It is more thin and see-through, but it does do a pretty good job of stamping. So I am definitely doing a couple coats of that stamper on top. But this one is the other stamp, which is the smiley face, the one going on those vibes. I didn't want to use the skulls after all. I just wanted to use the droopy face. And I thought I'd add that to my French lined nail in the middle and give it that little, ooh, nice. And now I'm just getting a little bit of this as I wanted to tie in that tan on top of the full green nail. And I am by making a tannish cobweb. Yes, a tan cobweb with the nude color here. That's on all my other nails. And I, of course, I have to go back a few times. Got to let it dry after doing the middle part. All cobwebs kind of have are just kind of artsy as you never know how they're going to turn out. Kind of like doing a snowflake. But in this case, it's a cobweb. That came out pretty well. There it is, looking nice, nice, nice. And of course, it makes it look a lot nicer when I put the top coat on. Holding it all in, especially for the stamping parts. So there we go with that one, looking nice. Nice and done. Woo! Oh, 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 boy, we're in trouble! Yes. The magic of my potion has come to life. And here it is. That's right, Tiaso! Yep, yippity doo da. And I did add this color somewhat. Well, at least I tried. It's a little thin for stamping, but it works. Yep, all my little potion bottles here have made these nails of spookiness of a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of given that spooky girly of a vibe with the pink, if I do say so. That's at least what I'm getting off of it. Yep, yep, but yep. So with all that and my awesome spooky spooky nails, enjoying them with all the glory and everything. So much hollow, it is crazy. <laughs> yes, it's boiling up with that hollow of a potion. Mm -hmm. With that and all that spooky vibes, if you enjoyed, hit that bell. Till next time, sparkle, sparkle.